what is up guys so today i'm finally doing a review of my 2015 honda grom i've had this bike for the longest period of time i think i've ever owned a bike i think i only had the duke for about a year i've had this for a year and a half almost two years actually i think yeah it would be almost two years i think and i've loved every second of it but normally i'll be off the bike when i'm doing a review video i thought i'd come to cheddar head to western supermare head to breen and talk about why i love this bike i have made a video actually i made two videos of why you should buy one and why you shouldn't these may be a bit repetitive um but I want to do a full review of it. Let's do it. There's people in the car probably like, why the fuck is he talking to himself? D don't worry about it, you wouldn't understand. So, the Honda Grom. I'm sure you know what this bloody bike is. It's so freaking popular, so awesome. But yeah, like, if you're thinking about getting one, stop thinking just get one like there's no reason you shouldn't they are oh it's the police that woman was here the other day because of uh what happened here there's so many cops down here all the time now <laughs> uh funny i'll wait for this light and then I'll talk a little bit more. It smells of weed around here. Hey. So, the only reason you shouldn't buy one of these, the only reason, is if you get embarrassed easily because you're on a tiny little bike people look at you and they laugh but you know that's expected you're on a fucking tiny little bike uh actually there's two reasons the other reason if you do a whole lot of motorways or highways or freeways or whatever the fuck you want to call them uh because <laughs> this will top out i've had it hit 74 i think 75 um So, you don't really want it doing that for a long period of time, the bike will probably blow up. But saying that, these things are so reliable, it's ridiculous. I think I need to go this way? I don't know. They're built like brick shit houses, like they're fucking solid solid little bikes um, and they're great fun they are talky little 125 engines um, a very popular mod that you can do to them which I have actually doing next week is putting a 14 tooth front sprocket on and that gives you a little bit more oomph I'm also going I think one tooth on the up on the rear as well just for those wheelies because that's what a lot of people either buy these things for or just end up doing anyway oh wheelies because it's such a little bike it's perfect to learn on um learn to ride on learn to wheelie learn to do everything on you know and everything's so cheap you know parts of this is so freaking cheap that it doesn't matter if it like gets damaged i've actually crashed this thing a couple of times <laughs> um, the whole headlight is is scratched to hell I have at home a brand new um, speedo uh, housing a new headlight new indicators new grips new levers new fairing pieces all these bits because it's so cheap you can just buy them and then they're just there and then you just chuck them on it's like a dirt bike you just buy fairings for it and then when they get scratched you replace them this bike does have all the kevtech uh subframe and sliders and fork protectors everything you know because i do this i bought it to learn we learn wheelies on really and i i'm not amazing at them 
um, but I'm not great either. I'm not bad even. Um, <laughs> but uh, I still need to practice a lot of rear brake because I did loop the bike the other, <laughs> the other day, which you saw in a video. Um, but yeah, like I was actually teaching my ex uh, how to ride this thing. Um, so it's perfect for learners because it's so low down as well perfect to learn on and perfect for short riders like myself it's amazing for city riding like as you can probably imagine the filtering ability of this bike is just <laughs> insane like the turning circle is awesome you could probably turn around once and then again <laughs> in like a whatever shape that is snake uh, in this road like it, it's, 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 it's awesome um, now it, it is a 125 engine and as I said it does top out at about 74 I've had it at and that's with a full Tiger performance exhaust stock air filters um, and just pin it and stock stock gear in as well uh, I am light but meh um, but that doesn't mean it's a slow bike because it will still do 74 miles an hour like that's quite significant for a little 125 especially one that's doing what nine brake horsepower so they're not ridiculously slow and I did actually do a test of this versus my KTM Duke 125 0 to 60 um, which you can check out on the channel and uh, this actually beat it to 30 miles an hour uh, and then the KTM obviously took off from there so it is, it is a little talky engine it's great fun there's so many mods you can do to a bike like this um, you can stretch them you can put different exhaust on them you can make them look like a hyper motard you can turn it into like a little cafe racer you can turn it into like a little sports bike new fucking triple tree clamps and handlebars and everything like you these bikes are so customized because they're so popular it's so customized and that's another thing because they're so popular there's a shit ton on the internet about them how to simple things like how to adjust the chains all the way how to stretch them and shit so there's so many forums and things like that where you can find the best sprocket sizes and do i need to go that way or straight i'm going straight i don't know um and, and just everything you would ever want so they are they are amazing bikes but the only two things i would say not to get one is if you get embarrassed too easy um, and you want you, you're not looking for something uh, you want a big bike you want to uh, like say you're going from a 50 cc to a 125 and you want to feel like you're getting a big bike don't bother getting this you know yeah, I think that's pretty straightforward if you want to be on a big bike don't get a tiny little bike um, and if you do a lot of motorway stuff like right now it's 60 mile an hour road I'm pinning it at 60 I'm doing 58 right now I rode this for about six hours there and back on a journey and I loved it like I didn't I've got a comfort seat for this thing but I didn't even have that on like the seat's not that uncomfy so that's another little bonus um, another thing with this bike the only thing like that would be beneficial to learners I would say is um, ABS because this doesn't have ABS but that's not a good like that's not a a super big deal to me uh, if I'm honest but it is nice to have for the learners um, and a gear indicator now you can get aftermarket gear indicators I think I want to go down that way if I'm honest I, I don't actually know but I'm just guessing a gear indicator would be nice for learners you can get aftermarket ones you can also get aftermarket uh, temperature gauges which I do have I used to have it on the bike um, so as I said, there's so many mods to it, you can do to it, but stock, it would be nice to have a gear indicator and maybe ABS. I personally wouldn't want ABS on this bike because I love doing skids and shit. Um, but for, it is a perfect learner bike, like you could, because it's so lightweight as well. Like it's it's perfect to learn on for people, like learn how to change gear and everything like that. Um, it has got four gears, so you can, and then a clutch, so you can learn how to change gear and whatnot. It's perfect, and it's it's so tame. You can take it anywhere as well. You can, as I said, I've taken it on the motorway. I've taken it on 
down twisties, I've ridden it in the city, I've ridden it everywhere this bike. I've taken it off-roading for God's sake. It's not an amazing off-road bike, do not buy it if you're looking to get an off-road bike. Um, it will go off-road but it's like taking a supermoto off-road, like the wheels just get stuck in mud, you know. The brakes, the brakes are fucking really good for a little bike like this. It's a single disc on the front, single disc on the rear. Um, I'm not sure what the caliper is but like they do their job for this bike you know they're not brembos you don't need brembos for this bike saying that you can do like conversion kits and put brembos on this and all sorts um suspension's really good you know people do wheelies all the time on these things and it's 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 set up for for street riding really who the fuck is beeping ah they they beeping to go around the corner i think i thought that the person behind me beeped i was like why are you beefing me? Because I want my hands off? I'm doing a vlog, leave me alone. And they do sound quite good, like, I'm not going to lie, I've got a Tiger Performance exhaust on this, and it's not a bad sounding bike, a little single cylinder fire. Sounds like a, like a little dirt bike kind of thing. The throttle response is another really good thing about this bike. It's instant. Gearing's nice and smooth. Um, you're sat very comfortable, upright, legs here. Again, if you're learning to ride this bike and you're scared of dropping it, either get some crash protection for it, or you don't need to worry too much because like something like the R125, it's quite tall and it's got this full fairing. So you drop it and those panels get scratched super easy and then you got to replace them. Whereas this, if you just drop it, it's not really going to damage the fairings at all or very very slightly um, and because it's such a small piece uh, it's, they're a lot cheaper to buy um, I need to go that way <laughs> 30, let's go to 60 so it does take a while but I've caught up to this car. Look at that. And I've still got one more gear. The fuel economy the, the fuel economy on this bike is amazing. If you just do city riding, so 30 miles an hour, say, just around the city, you can do 100 miles to the gallon, I see. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. If you're doing roads like this where you're pinning it at 60, yeah, you're gonna do probably like 30, 40. <laughs> probably actually better than that. They last for ages. I don't know what else to say. It's just, it's such a good bike. And I'm not like, I'm not biased to it because I own one. I own one because I like it so much, you know? They're super reliable. Uh, another drawback say is, if you do drop the bike or crash it, that the, when you saw me loop my bike, uh, the actual foot peg snapped off. Uh, I think it's a really stupid design of how like the, the, the foot pegs do actually bend, um, which is amazing. But I think it's a stupid de 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 design that the swing arm is held on through a bolt through the foot peg. So if you lose a foot peg, um, you have to take the whole swing arm off to replace it. I think that's just, that's a tiny little thing and the chances of you snapping a foot peg like I did, very slim, you know. If you're doing wheelies and you've got crash protection on, you should be good, you know. Um, I was just very unlucky of how my bike came down. And it should have, it's my fault because I should have been covering the rear brake. Well, you know. So, there's that. Um, I don't like how the brake lever bends so easy. Uh, I wish they had done a, maybe a better brake, something like uh, the thing on the KTM Duke uh, 125. Um, if I show you, it's just this tiny little metal thing. I could probably kick it and it would bend. What else have we got on this bike? You, they had passenger pegs, um, and I've had passengers on it before a couple of times. Um, they do end up sitting on the uh, 12 bar, but like there's not a lot of room there. My other seat is much better because the 
uh, rider is scooched up a little bit more and then the passenger has a bit more room to sit on. Passenger bags are fine, uh, I always stick them out just in case the bike goes down, there's an extra little bit of crash protection but as I said, fold up and so do the foot pegs. Um, yeah, it's an awesome bike guys, I really do recommend them. And one other thing that I don't like about the bike stock is the mirrors are ugly as hell. Other than that, this bike's awesome. I'm going to try and hit some twisties now. I'm stuck in traffic for ages. I could filter, but I'm not going to. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. But anyway, guys, you have a great fucking day. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.